I have been wanting to try the Jello coated grapes for quite some time, and now I have the perfect occasion to do so. So, what you'll need is some Jello, and I chose cherry Jello and berry blue Jello. I've seen this done several different ways, and I tried several methods. But the very first thing you're going to do with either method that I tried is you're gonna wash your grapes and then you're gonna leave them in water totally emerged because the water is what's gonna help that jello adhere to the grape. And we are using dry jello packets. Just grab a bowl and I've got two bowls. I've got two different colors. And I'd say you could mix the colors. That would probably be neat looking. But empty your jello packet into the bowl, insert a toothpick in the end of the grape, and just put it in the powder and just roll it around. Now, this method worked really good, except it didn't coat it near the toothpick. So I left some in my packet, some of the jello, and sprinkled it on it, and that was perfect. Absolutely perfect. It coated it really well. Well, after doing about three or four of these, I decided. This was, would not work for me. I do not have an hour or even longer to set and coat each grape. So I grabbed a sandwich bag and I put a little bit of the jello powder in there and a handful of grapes, wet grapes. You want to make sure they're wet. And then I just shook it and this worked out just beautifully. I finished up my red grapes and decided I was going to get a bigger bag and just dump the blue jello powder into that bag and put all my grapes in there. And y'all, that did not work that great. As you can see, some of them are coated, some of them are not. But like Bob Ross says, there are no mistakes, just happy accidents. And sometimes you, when you're being creative, you just have to improvise. And that's what I did. I grabbed my blue sugar crystals uh, the sprinkles, and I just started sprinkling them. This helped a little bit. They were more like aqua instead of just blue, like I wanted them to be, but that's okay. Then you just leave these on the baking tray and put them in the freezer to chill for two hours. And after that, you can just put them in a Ziploc bag until they're ready to serve. My grandbabies are gonna love these. And by the way, I did taste one. Well, I tasted one of each and they are so good. And I love the cherry ones.